Hi everybody, I'm Derek Martin, and welcome to this episode of Tuxy TV. Uh, today's guest is Colleen McQuaid uh, from Quispamsis, New Brunswick. She's an active CrossFitter. She's placed or ranked tenth place in a worldwide scale CrossFit competition recently. She's a mother of three boys, a physiotherapist by trade, and she also plays ball hockey. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Colleen. Thank you for having me. Hey, thank you. Uh, maybe you tell us a little bit about yourself. But this is a kind of a hearsay. I'm interested to see what you get to say. Well, I'm a mother first okay. to three boys. They are in kindergarten, grade two, and grade three. So that's probably my proudest accomplishment in life. Um, and I work full time as a physiotherapist. And I mm -hmm. actually co own a clinic in Rosse mm -hmm. with my best friend, okay. Jessica Holland. So. I'm very fortunate to go to work every day and do something I love with mm -hmm. my best friend, as you guys seem to do too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I found CrossFit. Uh, when did you When did you start CrossFit? Like what? Tell me about the the first introduction. Um, well, I knew Heather Wood from Ball Hockey, okay. the owner of uh, CrossFit. Owner of it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I started playing ball hockey with her when I was like 18, 19, and so I ran into her when I was pregnant um, with my third. And I just said, hey, I want to try CrossFit. I need to get in shape. I knew it was, uh, we had ball hockey nationals coming up that summer. So, and my sister and her husband actually started in the fall. I had my third baby in November. Okay. And uh, 10 weeks, eight weeks later, I did my first, I did fundamentals and did my first workout. And yeah, I was just, just fell in love. I think my first workout. Were you, were you, is it because you were, you wanted to get better at ball hockey? Or yeah, I just wanted yeah. to get in shape. in shape. I never lifted weights. Like I went to a gym, I think for two years. What did, I, just to so what yeah. did you consider shape back then? Um, I didn't, I would, I ran and okay. I played hockey, but I would never, I never lifted weights before. I didn't, I had zero interest in standing in front of a mirror and okay. pumping iron. <laughs> um, I did go to the good life. I think. do it, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> I like to throw shit down now. It's like, it's relieving, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I, I thought weights, doing weights was stupid and I just, I, had, I literally had zero interest in it, but um, I thought I'd give it a try because my sister and husband had started it and they thought it was awesome and really fun and I have a gymnastics background too, so okay. I thought, oh, maybe might be something I'm good at. Um, so yeah, I, that's why I tried it and I just, and my husband and I both started fundamentals at the same time and I guess something to do together too. Okay. So. And so you've been doing CrossFit now for four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. What uh, at what point did you decide I'm going to start competing? In CrossFit? Um, well, I actually did my very first competition like six months in because I got bullied into doing it, <laughs> and I did it RX. So I was shitting my pants. Like I remember RX being... means uh, pro. Yeah. <laughs> for those that don't do CrossFit. <laughs> uh, I remember being terrified though, and like counting down. Oh my god, six weeks. Oh my god, five weeks. Oh my god, four <laughs> weeks. And I was terrified. Um, but we ended up coming third. We ended up doing a row off and it was fun and it was D-Town. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I just did it for the fifth time this year and wow. I love it. And then I did the suffering actually the same year and I think they were a week apart at that time. So okay. um, yeah, I did two right away and I just, I don't know, I just, I love competing. I okay. really do love competing. So um, yeah, I guess I started competing really early on, but to me it was just still for fun. Very cool. Yeah. And. Um, so so fast forward four years. So mm -hmm. now this year has been a pretty big year for you. Mm -hmm. uh, before we get into the, the main event, let's call it. What uh, tell me? And for those watching who don't know about the CrossFit competition per se, maybe tell tell everyone how it works. So yeah. I know how it works. It's, it essentially is the biggest, I think, global fitness competition in the yeah, world. Yeah, I think that's what they say. So yeah. I think they had three hundred and seventy-five thousand, or maybe it's more than that this year. That might have been right. two thousand seventeen. So yeah, we do uh, a workout is announced every Thursday evening, and then so this is bef so before the game, so back up, so so the open, so the, there's the, the open, right? The open. So this is kind of a competition that happens, or it, you've done it. So I'm I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm only yeah. kind of paraphrasing what I know of. So it's a uh, every week, people around the world do all the same workout, yeah, and then they they we have a judge. Okay, you have there's a movement judge. standards, right? Yeah, and then you. Uh, put your score in online right. and it's validated by your affiliate owner mm -hmm. and then you do that for five weeks in a row and then after right. so that so workouts announced Monday Thursday night Thursday at nine and you have until Monday to do the workout okay and you can do it as many times as you want right so I did everyone twice because yeah. why not I just said before I, I did it I said I'm just gonna make a commitment I'm gonna do everyone and was twice. this your first year doing the open yeah nope I've done it every year okay even the first year that I started I was only six weeks into CrossFit and I wow. and I they made me do it at my gym okay. 
Well, they changed and to my program. Yeah. I was like, what? And what, was okay. the, what was the difference? Uh, so what changed from previous years to this year? Um, in performance and in yourself and in your routine. Well, there was two years ago I was actually um, asked for a video for one of my workouts to go to regionals. Mm -hmm. But I was 47th and I'd only been doing CrossFit for two years, so I didn't video any of my workouts. And I just wrote them back and said, sorry, I didn't video. I didn't think I'd had a chance. And then they gave me a zero and wiped me off the leaderboard and I lost my fitness in New Brunswick too. Because just for those, uh, so you do the workout, you film it. Yeah, if you don't have a judge to. and then you submit it yeah. to, for the proof. For the proof, proof right. yeah. But if, if as long as you have a level one judge, it should be okay. But right. um, yeah, I didn't think I was going to regionals anyways. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess I, after that I was like, well, geez, I can, maybe I could make it to regionals, so I kind of put pressure on myself. And then last year, I just said, screw it, I'm just gonna have fun, I'm gonna do every workout twice, but it, see what I did, see what happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I did anything different with my training, I think I was a little bit better with my diet. Um, this year? Oh, yeah, oh. like in January, I was like, okay, like clean up your diet a bit more. Mm -hmm. I think maybe my mental game was a little bit better. I have really have no idea. I just <laughs> put the work in in the fall, did a lot, yeah. of, a lot more lifting and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened. I was shocked every week, literally. And uh, was there a story about something about a, a workout that you did once that you would have got a really, really good ranking, but something about your video oh, workout? Oh, that or? was the online qualifier. So after the open, they take the top two for the for the online for the age group. They take like the top 200 in the world. Okay. And then so where you were in? Yep. Yeah, so okay. my 35 to 39 age yeah. group. I was 20th in the world after the open, after the five weeks of competition. So then the top 20, or 200 in the world, are given four workouts to do in four days. Okay. So all the online, or all the, all the age group do the online. So um, one of them was the thruster rope climb one. So I did it the first time, and we fucked up my video. Okay. <laughs> and cut out. So then I went again that weekend, the same weekend, because you have four days, same thing. I did it again. And I thought it was good. I beat my time by like five more seconds. Mm -hmm. And then when they asked for my videos, uh, we were looking through them and I was like, oh my God, I didn't show my weights. So, I, and, I, and I had to go into Fundy CrossFit. They were gracious enough to yeah. host me because our, our ceilings were 15 feet. So I went in, did it again at eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday with no music. And I actually, and my video wasn't even good. There's a guy that just happened to come in. I was like, can you video this for backup? And his is a video that we use. And okay. if I had to use that score, I would have been like third in the world on that workout. Wow. <laughs> but I had to use my time that I submitted in the yeah. time frame that I had to do the workout, right? Wow. So anyways. It's very cool to be able to compare yourself, you know, uh, vir virtually online with yeah. everyone else in the world. Mm -hmm. It's neat. So, <clears throat> so then... I guess with the open qualifier or the opens and the qualifiers, so then you got essentially got invited to place to go to the games. Yes. This year. So after the online qualifier, I finished twentieth again. Mm -hmm. So there's the top twenty in the world to make it to the games. So okay. going into the games, I was twentieth. You were twentieth. So essentially, is twentieth in your age category you ranked in the world mm -hmm. out of four thousand people. That must have been a pretty cool feeling, no? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It, I didn't really believe it, honestly. I, right. I once I flew there and we were like going to the um, uh, the athlete check in mm -hmm. where they give you your like big box of goodies and all your shoes and all that stuff. <laughs> then I was like, <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is really happening. Is it uh, because here you kind of do it in seclusion in your home? Uh, you know, your 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 regular routine. You do it with your friends. All of a sudden. Flick of a switch, you're there with the best in the world, right? Yeah. So, was there anything different about competing there? Or? Oh yeah. Well, it's funny because like I don't know if the I don't know if the age group like our age like the you know any of the masters or teens would have got that much attention, but it was like Sam Briggs I was competing against, and um, Anna Tobias. I mean, and Kristen Pedry. Those three competed with the individuals last year. So. Yeah we would come out of the venue and there would be, it would be like lined up people asking for autographs and stuff. So wow. that was pretty cool. So you signed a few autographs? No, yeah. actually I did sign one. There Some guy are. came up to me and he's like, oh, can I have your autograph? Uh, and I was like, yeah. He was for sure Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea who he was, but I was like, yeah, sure, okay. Um, but yeah, honestly like going into it, I was 20th in the world and I was like, I have nothing to prove. Nobody knows who I am. And so competing there was, Everybody that watched me, because we there was a couple girls from my gym. They would um, post like live stream videos, and I, everybody's like, "You're just beaming ear to ear the whole time." Like I would run out of the floor and just like <laughs> smile ear to ear. I was just so happy to be there. Absolutely. It was just such an honor to compete. Like it didn't matter. 
I didn't care. I mean, obviously I want to do my best, but I, I didn't care how I placed or anything. I just mm -hmm. was there to like have fun and enjoy the experience really. What was that? What was the, the hardest workout or anything that you did there? I'm just, I'm just curious, like obviously there's mm -hmm. hard workouts, but was there one that was really a killer? Uh, the open water swim sucked. So for everyone watching that doesn't know what, what maybe walk us through with that, what yeah. that, that workout looks like. So that is, so, uh, <laughs> when they put the individuals in the water in the morning the water was like crystal clear okay <laughs> when they put us in the water it was one o'clock in the afternoon and there was boats flying by in in the water and the waves were like this so open water swim was a 500 meter swim for time it was actually 650 meters as fast as you can that's yeah for time <laughs> so they say and and the shitty thing was is a last minute they're like so the dudes are going with you guys so we had 20 guys and 20 girls, 40 of us, all in the water at the same time. And they clustered together too. Right? Yes. So they <laughs> clustered the guys. Like you had, to, you had to go out like this to a buoy and then this way and then back. And so we had to go this way. So they put the guys here and the girls beside them. So they had like, so I got stuck behind all the shitty dude swimmers that were on their backs flipping water in my face <laughs> and I was getting feet in the face. So I had to go way out and around. So anyways, that was a frustrating event just with the amount of water and the amount of people in the water and... I'm not a swimmer at all. Okay. So I started practicing this summer, and where I live, um, at the about the the end of my street, you can I the people that live on the end of the street have had told me that it was a kilometer to swim across the river. So I did do that a few times, and uh, kind of got over my fear a little bit. But when you throw forty people in swimming at the same time, there's a couple people from my gym that are like, I want to do that. I want to do that. So they did join me, and it right. was. Good to have other people there, but at the same time, it wasn't the same. Like, you can't replicate 40 people in the water at the same yeah. time. So that was the only workout that I was really like, ugh. And how do, you, how do you train for that? Because it, the games is kind of, the, mm -hmm. it, you never know where the workouts are in yeah. advance, right? Yeah. And, and sometimes they throw, like for those who know, CrossFit is kind of a bunch of different moves, gymnastics, yeah. weightlifting, run, like all kinds of stuff. Like and an obstacle course, you can't train for that, right? right? There's no <clears> way. So I mean, you just got to be able to adapt to whatever they do. Yeah, doing. yeah. And they let us, they gave us the day before that one. They gave us four minutes. They're like, four minutes, ready, set, go. To uh, practice? To practice. Oh. So, but you could pick whatever obstacle you wanted in whatever yeah. order. And so, so for those, for the one, obstacles for that you weren't too familiar with. Yeah, them. like I'm good at climbing ropes and stuff like that. But like the cargo net was like super, super high and wobbly. And the big, the log was about this big and it was really slippery and you had to, there was nothing to hold on to. You had to like, like this around it and be like, that's the one, I don't know if you guys watched, but Matt Fraser and Pat Melner both fell off the top of it. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, I see that. And it was, t it was high and it was really slippery and they had a vest on too, so they would have had even harder time gripping onto it. Um, so that one, and then there was another one where you had to like walk up a, a log that was really, really steep and then kind of fall into a rope and swing on it and land on the beam. And if you fell off the beam, you had to go back and start. So those were the couple ones that I practiced. But um, yeah, th there was a there was a whack of things that I had never done before at the games, and it's just like, and you know what? It's funny. I looked back afterwards, and I was like, the, I did well on all of the ones. Those were some of my best finishes, doing the things that I had never done before. Prepared. Oh wow! Well. Like a yoke. I've never done a yoke yeah. before. A yoke carry. Oh yeah. Three hundred and eighty pounds across the football field. And you, did you get a chance to practice? Yeah, like right before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it was going to crash my Adrenaline, spine. adrenaline, or just oh go God, for it? Yeah. Yes. So, so I mean, uh, so all this stuff, I'm just curious. So you're doing like numerous workouts a day, right? Like you're pretty much doing a bunch of workouts a day, yeah. day after day uh, at the event. What, uh, like either during or after, so this is the third question. After you're done, what, like, how do you unwind? What's your first meal that you're like, I've got a, like, your celebratory meal or kind of cheat meal or whatever. Did you do anything like that? Or? Well, we went to Chicago. Um, so we went to Chicago Sunday, stayed there, and then we stayed in Chicago like an extra night with my family, like my, my husband, my three kids, and my mom. And we were out like all day. Um, and we didn't like, we couldn't find a place to eat because we didn't know Chicago. We should have did a little bit more research. Um, I love nachos. We did have nachos and I wanted ice cream and a beer. So we went to a ball game that night and uh, I got ice cream and I was like so excited about this ice cream. And then my son was like, looked at me with his like big brown eyes. He's like, Mommy, I don't like mine. Can I have yours? And I was like, here. <laughs> <laughs> mom of the year award. Damn kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm a good mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, the beer, my mom and my husband were like, come on, have a beer. And I was like, 
we have to sit on a subway for an hour afterwards? <laughs> like, I'll piss my pants. Like, I can't. <laughs> so it was like, it was not a good yeah. timing for it. So I did it, like, I think maybe two weeks or a week after that, I did yeah. have a couple drinks. But like, yeah, I, uh, ice cream, I guess, was what is my big yeah. cheat meal. And do you, like, now after the games, like, what happens after? Do you just go back to the gym? Do you take a week off? What, how was the. Honestly, like, the training I did before the games leading up to it, I did like nine weeks with my coach, was way harder mentally and physically than the games itself mm. so the games to me felt fantastic like I had a blast because I was like rested in between workouts mm. like she had me doing like I do a workout rest like 10 minutes do another workout rest 10 minutes mm. do another workout rest like half an hour an hour and then do like three more like it was nuts some of the stuff she had me do mm. but it was awesome at the same time because the, the games weren't that bad. Right. Um, so yeah, I took off like the Monday because we were in Chicago, Tuesday because we traveled, and then Wednesday I went right back to the gym again because I was like dying, just chomping at the bit <laughs> to get back. Wow. So I did my gym's regular training because Heather does like wicked programming anyways. Mm -hmm. I just like to do more volume now. Um, so I did that for three weeks and then I started back. Um, I think I've been back with my coach again for three weeks. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh... Uh, the games specify how did you finish? So you finished tenth overall. Tenth overall. Wow. Yeah, must yeah. have been pretty cool to, yeah. to. It's kind of because that's kind of the end. Like you're going through qualifiers yeah. to get there, then you finish there. So now it's after the work I put in, I I, I feel good. Like yeah. it was like, and then I remember the, like the last week, I was like, oh my god, like I almost cried when I was done because she was like, you're done, <laughs> you've done all the preparation. Actually, yeah. it was a week before. The week before was like, you know, just kind of right. it was moving. But yeah, it was so. So now, so now you you got there. You got to the pretty much the plateau of events worldwide for CrossFit. You finished tenth in the world in your category. Um, what's next for you? I'm just gonna keep training. I with all the changes with um, um, what they're doing with the the process of how to uh, qualify for the games. Mm -hmm. um, we don't even know if there's gonna be a masters in the teens right. um, next year, but I. To me, I mean, it would suck if there's not, but it's not going to stop me from training. Right. I still have goals and things I want to do, and I just, I love training. Love it. So, yeah, it doesn't, for me, i just going to keep doing local competitions because I love, I've met such an awesome community of people, like, all around the Maritimes. Mm -hmm. It's like, I can't wait to go tomorrow and watch the suffering because I'll get to see all my friends. Um I'd rather be competing, but that's, yeah. that's my husband's turn tomorrow. And um, and and did I understand right that you you're actually officially crowned the fittest woman in New Brunswick? Yeah, I just got my uh, certificate. Everybody's like, did they mail it to? I was like, no, they send you an email with a PDF file so you can print it out yourself. So, but that means you can print as many copies as you want. Right? <laughs> did you bring one here today? No, I'm sorry. I mean, if I were you, I would walk around with <laughs> copies, maybe small, big, wallet size, and give them out. Business you know? cards. Yeah. yeah, maybe like little, uh, you know, coasters. Yeah, or whatever. that's a good idea. Just so you can take that hey. idea run with it. That's I love it. <laughs> um, all right, Colleen, well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, uh, it's really me. awesome to learn about your experience. And one last thing, I understand that you're actually leaving this week mm -hmm. for, tell me a little bit quickly what's, oh, what's going on with that. Um, I'm playing uh, for Team Canada, the Masters ball hockey team okay. in Bermuda. Because it's not enough to be the 10th fittest woman <laughs> in the world. <laughs> you also you have to go for the best ball hockey championships in the world also. Yes. Thank you very much, Colleen. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, thanks everyone. And tune in next time for next episode of Tuxie TV.